Providing the music. Hello, I'm Sophia Lattenbach, a senior National Honor Society member at Sebastopol High School. Welcome to Sebastopol's first ever virtual academic recognition and National Honor Society induction ceremony. Before we begin, I would like to recognize and thank our administration, school board, and advising staff. Mr. Kyle Lidke, Superintendent. Mr. Adam Baer, middle and high school principal. Ms. Melissa Malcor, middle and high school counselor. Ms. Heather Spetz, National Honor Society advisor. Mr. Steven Tulski, technology coordinator. Ms. Amy Lautenbach, administrative assistant. And Sebastopol school board members, Lisa Beery, Dave Kakmarinski, Sue Today, Keith Volkman, Dick Weidman, Jerry Warwick, and Cindy Bel Zellner Ehlers. We would also like to thank outgoing school board members, Karen Brower and Jay Zahn for their time and service. Mr. Lidke, I invite you to give us your welcoming thoughts. Thank you. Uh, welcome parents and students to our 2020 academic and NHS ceremony. First, I'd like to thank Mr. Bear, Mrs. Spetz, Mrs. Lautenbach, and Mr. Tulowski for putting together tonight's program. As with everything these days, adjustments and changes had to be made because of the times. People talk about the new normal and the uncertainty of the future. Then, we think we know what path we're on, new information and directions are given, and businesses, schools, families, and individuals have to again adapt to those changes. And that's what you kids have to do now and you'll do your entire lives. This time it affects everyone and the insecurity of the future is probably the most difficult part. At other times in your life, you may be the only person aware that you are facing adversity. 
those times may be more difficult than this because others aren't aware. It isn't is that they don't care, but others may simply not know your struggle. Be smart during those times. Have faith in yourself and reach out to those you know you can count on. Asking for help is wise and not a sign of weakness. Each of you students has shown that you can achieve academic success. Whether it's because you've worked hard to obtain good grades or you're blessed with natural ability and didn't squander it or a combination of the two. Congratulations for figuring it out. I'm also encouraged by the number of NHS candidates for membership tonight that we have. I think it's fantastic. Often when I run to older people, yes, older than me, which is an abundant population in Door County, I'm asked about the students of Sevastopol. They wanna know if the kids today are good or not. I think they're looking for reassurance that the future is bright. If they want proof that the kids are good and the future is bright, all they need to do is look at the students being recognized tonight. Be proud of your accomplishments and keep up the good work. I'm proud of you and congratulations on your success. Thank you, Mr. Lampton. Now more than ever, we are grateful for the opportunity to gather and celebrate students who strive for high ideals, not only in a traditional academic setting, but also in this new and unprecedented virtual environment. In their efforts to attain excellence, these students inspire and lift our community and society. To begin the National Honor Society induction ceremony, Rachel Hippis will now provide the history of the society. <laughs> In 1919, J.G. Masters, a high school principal in Omaha, proposed the formation of a National Honor Society at the convention of the National Association of Secondary School Principals. Masters received tremendous support from Edward Reinerson, who is now considered the father of National Honor Society. The concern of Masters and Reinerson and many high school principals at the time was that there was a growing movement to emphasize athletic and strictly academic activities. To emphasize, the emphasis was often regarded as detrimental to programs designed to stimulate leadership and character. In 1921, the National Association of Secondary School Principals passed the resolution to form the National Honor Society. <coughs> From its inception, the National Honor Society was regarded as a concrete way to promote high, high school academic standards, a means of ensuring the continuation of democracy and an instrument for the betterment of the individual and the school. The society has flourished. Today, more than 12,500 chapters are chartered. The Sevastopol chapter continues to be strong with those students who exhibit above average traits of leadership, service, and character. With today's induction ceremony, the Sevastopol chapter will consist of 28 active members. And now Maya Plor will explain the selection procedures. Thank you, Rachel. For many students, selection as a member of the National Honor Society is the pinnacle of their achievements in school. This honor, recognized throughout the nation, is both the public recognition of accomplishment and the private commitment to continued excellence on the part of the new member. Because of the importance placed upon this aspect of secondary school life, local chapters are charged with creating a selection process that conforms to the national guidelines, is applied fairly and consistently to all candidates, and provides a meaningful recognition of deserving students. Selection into the National Honor Society is a privilege, not a right. Students do not apply for membership. Instead, they provide information to be used by the local selection committee to support the candidacy for membership. Membership is granted only to those students selected by the faculty council in each school. This is not an election, nor is membership automatically conveyed simply because a student has achieved a specified level of academic performance. National Honor Society is more than just an honor roll. The society also embraces high levels of leadership, service, and character. To be eligible for membership in the National Honor Society, a student must have a cumulative grade point average of 3.25 and be at least a second semester sophomore. The scholarship component is satisfied by the 3.25 grade point average. Those students eligible for membership are invited to complete a student activity information form. A five member faculty council is formed with the sole purpose of selecting new members. The council first reviews the character of each student. Those students who successfully pass the character review continue through the process. The names of the applicants are then removed and the council reviews the completed student activity 
activity information forms. On these forms, students list their community service, leadership, and extracurricular activities. Those students who successfully pass the review of service, service and leadership are invited to join the society. A student can only officially become a member of the National Honor Society through an induction ceremony. Today, 20 students will be inducted into the Sevastopol chapter. I would like to thank the Sevastopol Education Foundation who graciously provided staff like this for all National Honor Society seniors to be worn during her graduation ceremony. In the induction ceremony, the single white candle on the table before us represents the National Honor Society's torch, an eternal light of knowledge. The candle of knowledge is flanked by four blue candles. These candles represent scholarship, leadership, service, and character. These four components are the foundation for membership in the National Honor Society. Kaden Kapmarinski will now explain scholarship. Thank you, Sophia. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life which leads to highest success. And it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and light which illuminates the future. Candidates have the, change, the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Kelton Poperis will now explain leadership. Thank you, Caden. Leadership is a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed and is thus a basic charge to each of our members. Elizabeth Fiscus will now explain service. Thank you, Kelton. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. Willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the qual quality we seek in our membership. We are committed to the idea of volunteering our time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow. Cynthia Manson will now explain character. Thank you, Lizzie. Character is the force within each individual that distinguishes that person from others. It gives e each one individuality. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character which guides one through life and, when once developed, grows steadily. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant action, daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. How we want others to see us is what we really need to be inside. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope by example that we value character. Thank you, Cynthia. Please join us in welcoming the new members of the Festival School's National Honor Society with a wave or a like. This year's new members are Rebecca Welke, Rebecca Andre, Scott Andre, Brooklyn Bronner, Kelsey Christensen, Jack DeYoung, Cole Dvorak, Lexi Hinkle, Caroline Jordan, Lauren Junion, Tyler Kino, 
Ellie Crone. Zoe Rose Keen. Lacey Lattenbach. Kylie Newton. Aylin Retzloff. Margaret Ripp. Abigail Shawski. Olivia Senzel. Mackenzie Wiesner. And Natalie Zavoyski. Candidates for induction, please rise. I will light a candle for each member symbolizing the National Honor Society's four pillars, leadership, service, and character. Kaylee Moll will now lead the new members in the induction pledge. Please from your remote locations repeat after me. By my selection for membership in the National Honor Society, I hereby pledge loyalty to this organization. It shall be my purpose to give of my time and energy toward the promotion of all school activities. I will strive to be a model student and will never knowingly bring dishonor upon the school. I pledge myself to uphold the high purpose of the society for which I have been selected, striving in every way to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. Congratulations to these new members. Thank you, Kaylee. Now I would like to invite Mr. Bear and Ms. Lattenbach to present the academic awards. While they prepare their presentations, we have a few messages from your teachers and board members. Good evening. As I thought about this video, I reflected a lot about what it means to be honored. Why do we honor people? And what does a person do to deserve an honor in the first place? What did you do differently from your peers to get this recognition? And what does this distinction mean to teachers, colleges, and your future employers? People earn honor by doing their best even when doing their best is hard, uncomfortable, or takes more time. People who earn honors show respect for the system, even when they don't always agree. And people who earn honors don't say, I've had enough, or I'll let someone else take care of it. You are here tonight because you have done your best and succeeded when it wasn't always easy. Earning this recognition at this time in your life shows to others that you are serious about your future, willing to work hard, and you do quality work. So congratulations. Hello students. Congratulations on your selection to the National Honor Society and for being recognized for your academic honors. Hello students. As the hallways and classrooms have gone empty, it is now more apparent than ever the life you, our students, bring to Strasbourg. It is not only your academic success in the classroom, but your contributions to athletics, clubs, music, theater, and many other activities that brings our community together. Keep up the good work and keep Pioneer Pride going strong. When little kids start to walk, they never give up. They fall down and they get up and keep going. And when that little kid gets to be about five years old, they start to be curious and they ask questions about everything. 
and then we come to you. Everything is near shut down. You can't go to school, you can't be with your friends, you're missing your spring activities, yet you just keep going. Having worked with or on behalf of young people for my entire career, when I retired, it seemed there was something missing in my life. I soon identified that what was missing was the hope that young people provide to our world. Each of you has demonstrated character, leadership, scholarship, and service, those four pillars of the National Honor Society. Thank you for all that you are doing now and for what you will do in the future to provide hope and guiding light to our world. My favorite author, Kurt Vonnegut, once said, true terror is to wake up one morning and discover that your high school class is running the country. With you guys, I'm not worried. You are bright, compassionate, driven young men and women, and I know you are going to make a positive impact on this world. You all are an inspiration for us as teachers. You show us that hard work and dedication truly pay off. And you inspire me every day. You're the reason that I go to school. And it's not just for the learning that happens in the classroom, the light bulb moments, but it's also for that personal connection, the shared jokes, the stories, that connecting with you as students is truly what makes my job fulfilling and it's why I'm a teacher. What defines me as a teacher? The answer is obvious. It's you, the students. You keep it real, you keep it fun and inspired. You inspire me and each other. And for that I say, thanks for being you. Being a teacher is one of the most rewarding gifts I could ever have imagined and sharing your lives and your experiences every single day make me get out of bed and be excited and feel fulfilled. As one of the greatest inspirational people that I absolutely look to for guidance, Maya Angelou said, nothing can dim the light that shines from within. Michael Jordan once said, obstacles don't have to stop you if you run into a wall. Don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, get through it, or work around it. Students, you inspire me because I see you figure out these obstacles every single day, whether it be in the classroom, in the community, or in the playing field, you always make us proud. You face challenges head on and don't give up until you reach your goal. You guys inspire me every day to come to school and do the best I can do. You are some of the best young people that I have ever run into. I've been doing this for 38 years. I've run into many, many students, but you guys are some of the best that I have ever run into. I am honored to say that I was your teacher, but I more than that, I sometimes I, I hope that I, I can say I was your friend. I, I am very honored to be here. I would not want to be anywhere else other than sitting in a room with you guys. This is not easy, but this is a very high honor for you. But this is a very high honor for us because as teachers, we are here because of you. Working with young people as a middle school and a high school teacher illuminates my life. No matter how carefully I plan my lessons and um, projects, it's always the ideas and the creativity of my students that uh, eclipse my, my own ideas. Every individual really is unique. And if we succeed as teachers and we make an environment where we uh, ask you all to learn how to work together, um, that we could be a part of preparing you to solve world problems, such as our current pandemic, problems that you'll never ever believe in a million years that you might have to solve. A few of you have, um, have have heard this from me, um, but I keep a book of golden memories, and uh, here's my book of golden memories. Um, it was uh, an inspiration from um, a friend of mine who's a retired priest, um, and he told me to to date the things, uh, to talk about the events, talk about the people you were with, and um, of the couple dozen of entries that I have in here since 2009, um, many of them are from teaching and coaching. When asked, you know, what my students bring to my life and how they light up my life, um, just spending time with you every day uh, brings me joy. 
and it fills me with magic, the magic of intellectualism, um, the magic of your ideas and your passion. Um, so you bring a spirit to my life that I get nowhere else, and I really appreciate it, and you're important to my life. You inspire me every time you pour your heart out onto the page, every time you meet a deadline, every time you overcome an obstacle, and every time you do something you didn't think you could do. In case you guys think this whole coronavirus thing is odd, um, I, I really would have to say I disagree because uh, the things that I find odd are every other number. Congratulations on this wonderful achievement. You worked hard and deserve this special day. Each day I look forward to getting up and making special connections and making music with you all. Take care, keep working hard, and we hope to see you soon. Congratulations to all of you on your academic achievements. Congratulations. 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 You're going to leave one day. You're going to graduate. But you're never, ever going to stop being a pioneer. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, current National Honor Society members, and congratulations to our new National Honor Society members. Before recognizing our academic awards this evening, I would like to share some thoughts with you. As I thought about tonight's ceremony, I couldn't help but think about what I might say to inspire each of you. But the obvious message is to highlight the inspiration that you give us. As your teachers and community shared in the video, you are the light that extends throughout our community and gives us reason to celebrate. Everyone here tonight shines their light on you because our existence is based on these caring relationships. No one expected this pandemic to pull us apart, but I find comfort knowing that we are here together with incredible parents, a dedicated faculty, and a caring community. Please help me recognize the people sharing the room with you right now. Thank your parents because there's no limit to the love and sacrifices that they will make. On your journey through life, no one will care about you more. So continue to shine bright as an important part of your family. I would also like to encourage you to continue to inspire. Days spent in quarantine seem to run together as we miss out on the social connections that renew our spirits. Despite these challenges, I want Sebastopol students to know that hope is not lost. Instead, focus on making each day special. After sharing these trying times together, I think we all understand that life is more important than a grade point average. Life is about living, loving, and sharing it with those people around you. Sebastopol students, by sharing your life with your teachers, parents, and community, you have inspired us all. Continue to recognize the opportunities in front of you and know that you have our support. Congratulations. We are so proud of all of you. Now it is my honor to recognize students for having one semester of a 3.8 GPA or higher. Those students that have a 3.8 GPA or higher will be honored with a Sebastopol academic letter. Our first recipient, Joanne Andre. Henry Bly. It's not going, pardon me. Thank you. Yep. Our first recipient, Joanna Andre. Johanna Andre. Henry Bly. Mason Bosman. 
Tegan Elfson, Anna Estes, Claire Heberly, Noah Johnson, Atlee Manson, Emma Olson, Elena, Alana Rabach, Logan Retzloff, Bailey Rickla, Samuel Sawyer, Reese Schowski, Madeline Schultz, Emma Stuber, Gina Watlett, Owen Ensing Folds, Shaley Fisher, Ella Kakmarinski, Chalina Quailar, Samantha Eskew, John Jorns, Madeline Floor, Morgan Swain. Congratulations to those students that had at least one semester of a 3.8 GPA or higher. Students who have two semesters of a 3.8 GPA or higher are recognized with a PIN. Our first recipient, Frankie Ash, Carter Berry, Brooklyn Bronner, Jack DeYoung, Samantha Differ, Mark Harrell, Ellie Crone, Leslie Ruiz, Emmett Tomaszewski, Lillian Turner, Madeline Folkman, Natalie Zavoyski, Margaret Ripp, Mackenzie Elfson, Tyler Kino, and Melissa Lopez. Congratulations to those students. Students having three semesters of a 3.8 GPA or higher are recognized with a gold star. Frankie Ash, Carter Berry, Brooklyn Bronner, Jack DeYoung, Samantha Differ, Mark Harrell, Ellie Crone, Leslie Ruiz, Emmett Tomaszewski, Madeline Folkman, Natalie Zavoyski, Kelsey Christensen, Lacey Lautenbach, Margaret Ripp, Tyler Kino, and Andrew Salisbury. Congratulations to those students. Students with four semesters of a 3.8 GPA or higher are also recognized with a star. Rebecca Andre, Scott Andre, Kelsey Christensen, Cole Dvorak, Jenna Engeldinger, Lexi Henkel, Adriana Hernandez, Riley Krishka, Sasha Laxanen, Lacey Lattenbach, Kylie Newton, Halen Retzloff, Abigail Shelsky, Olivia Stenzel, Noah Tomaszewski, Mackenzie Wiesner, Caitlin Heath, and Chloe Rainier. Students with five semesters throughout high school, five semesters of a 3.8 GPA or higher are recognized again with a gold star. Rebecca Andre, Scott Andre, Cole Dvorak, Jenna Engeldinger, Lexi Hinkel, Adriana Hernandez, Riley Krishka, Sasha Laxanen, Kylie Newton, Halen Retzloff, Abigail Shelsky, Olivia Stenzel, Noah Tomaszewski, 
Mackenzie Wiesner, and Caitlin Heath. A student goes to school for eight semesters in high school. So these next students that are being recognized have six semesters out of the eight, six semesters where they've maintained a 3.8 GPA or higher. That's very hard to do at Sevastopol. We have high standards for all of our students. So these students have obviously worked very hard to achieve this honor. Madison Dijinsky, Caden Kekmarinski, Sophia Lattenbach, Cynthia Manson, Kaylee Moe, Ainsley Salisbury. The most you can achieve is seven semesters because we haven't finished our eighth semester. So the most a student can achieve is seven semesters at this point. An eighth semester can be achieved, um, but we would have to wait till the end of the school year. So we have some students that have reached that honor and have had seven semesters of a 3.8 GPA or higher. This time we recognize Madison Dijinsky, Caden Kakmarinski, Sophia Lattenbach, Kaylee Moe, and Ainsley Salisbury. Congratulations to all of those students. Before ending our ceremony, I would like to quote Dr. Jill Murray, who said, the comeback is always stronger than the setback. Despite these challenges, our community will endure, in part because of what we have witnessed tonight. I would like to extend my appreciation to everyone here tonight for making this a great school and a great community. Thank you for participating in our first ever virtual award ceremony. Sophia, if you would do the honors and close out our event tonight. Thank you for joining us today to recognize Sebastopol students and their academic success. We appreciate your support and encourage you to stay strong and healthy through this time of crisis. We are grateful for being from such a resilient and caring community. And now for a little closing music from Maya Floor.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Have a good night. Thanks for appreciating all these students. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining the live stream. Thank you.